What's up guys, it's the only ninja wearing aviators and a superhero hat bringing you another video of what is a martial art here on Modern Ninja YouTube channel. This time we are going to be going over talking about what Tai Chi really is and the fact that it is not yoga. So just going to let you guys know right now. Um, if I sound sick, I'm sorry, it's because I've been stopped up with all the weather changes and stuff, so... Give me a break. Tai Chi is often put in the same box as yoga, and many people don't realize the combat potential this style has, and so that's what we're going to be talking about in this video, as well as the history of the style. And again, like always, I'm terrible at pronouncing other languages really really bad at it guys and so I'm gonna leave all the words that I can't really pronounce that great down below so you can know how it's spelled and you can figure out how to pronounce it so with that said let's jump into the video Tai Chi is sort for Tai Chi Quan an internal martial art practice for both its defense training and its health benefits the term Tai Chi refers to philosophy for the forces of yin and yang showing that seemingly opposite or contrary forces can actually be quite beneficial and complementary to each other. This style finds its roots in 12th century China and uses concepts of Buddhism, Taoism, and Confucianism. Most modern styles of Tai Chi trace their origins back to five traditional schools, the Qin, the Yang, the Wu, the Hao, and the Sun. Many variations of Tai Chi involving weapons also exist. Some of these weapons include the Jin, a straight double-edged sword, the Dao, a heavier curved saber-like broadsword, the Tai Chi, a folding fan, and the Fang Hao Lan. Basically a disc similar to like the Tron discs. From a modern historical point of view, Tai Chi can trace back to Taoist and Buddhist monasteries. However, legendary tales state otherwise should you choose to believe them. Some traditional schools claim that Tai Chi has a practical connection to the Song Dynasty and the teachings of Meniscus, a Chinese philosopher who has often been described as the second sage after only Confucius. These schools believe that the practice of Tai Chi was formulated by a Taoist monk named Zhang Xingfeng. Xingfeng. Zhang Xinfeng. I really hope I'm pronouncing that right. I'm probably not. But that happened in the 12th century, according to these schools. However, modern historians cast serious doubt on this claim, saying that a book written in the 17th century is the only connection connecting that monk with martial arts at all. However, the history you choose to believe is up to you. Training involves five elements, solo hands and weapons, routines, or forms. <laughs> Negun and Quingun, breathing, movement, and awareness exercises. Totally seven times, open and close. That means that you are Seven time deep. To you, to you, shoe. I have no idea how to pronounce this one, honestly. But these are response drills. <laughs> and send shoe self defense techniques. While it's iconic in modern times to have slow and methodical movements, there are many styles that have secondary forms and patterns with fast-paced, quick, sharp techniques. Unlike many forms of martial arts, uniforms are historically not required during practice, often advocating for loose, comfortable clothing with flat-soled shoes. However, this may differ in modern times depending on the school you go to train at. The study of Tai Chi primarily involves three aspects of health, meditation, and martial art. The health aspect of training helps to relieve the physical effects of stress on the body and mind. This style uses this to not only help the physical effects that the world and stress have on your body, but also make your life longer and give you longevity. Many practitioners believe that 
that the meditation aspect of Tai Chi is necessary in maintaining optimum health and in the application of the form as it is a soft style of martial arts. Lastly, martial arts is the ability for the student to use this style in a self-defense form in live combat. It is a testament to the student's understanding of the art as a whole. It is the study of the appropriate change in response to an outside attack. Basically, taking an attack and turning it against the opponent instead of going on the offensive is the staple of this style. As many of you that have been on my channel for a while know, this is the style that waterbenders in the Avatar the Last Airbender series and Legend of Korra series used. But also, this is used by Jackie Chan, Mel Gibson, and none other than Tom Brady. Hope you guys liked this video. I It took me a, a minute to research Tai Chi, because uh, honestly, I didn't know much about it until I started learning about it and started doing my research over it. So uh, hopefully, you guys learned something just like I learned something in, with this video. But if you want to see more of these types of videos and other styles of martial arts, de definitely let me know down in the comments. I want to know what you guys want to see next, what videos you guys want to see come out in the future. Uh, and that goes for all of my videos. So if you have any questions over this or have a request for a future video, the comments is the place to put it because I try to reply to as many as possible. With that said, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see my future videos and hit the bell if you don't want to miss a single one. But until next time, my name's DJ Moore. This is The Modern Ninja. Whew, and I'm out.